Community pharmacies are being asked to do more, to help take the pressure off GPs. The problem is, it's pharmacies themselves that are under increasing pressure. Sky News analysis reveals they're closing at a rapid rate, with nearly 1,000 gone since 2017, and the most deprived areas are the worst affected. Take Bedminster Pharmacy in Bristol as an example. Run by Ada Williams, it's a community pharmacy with a lot of services on offer. Prescription dispensing, screening services, vaccinations, through to travel clinics. They're all in high demand. Here's Ardo's pharmacy on the map. Two pharmacies nearby have closed in the last few years. That means more people rely on him, which means more pressure on him and his staff. When you speak to the patients, you know, they're, you know, they're talking about the stress of uh, the costs of having to go further. They're talking about the pressures that that brings on them. They're talking about the fact that the system, the NHS, seems further away from them. And they feel very displaced. Naturally, they feel very disillusioned because if your system cannot sustain the easiest access point for you, how do you feel or how, do you, how does that say to you about your value? Over the last decade, more pharmacies have closed than opened, especially from 2017 onwards, following a reduced government pay deal for pharmacies. That led to an 8% decrease in the number of pharmacies since 2017. And it's affected those in the most deprived areas the most. This chart shows left to right the most to the least deprived areas in the country. And the more deprived the area, the bigger the increase in the people pharmacies there serve. When you think of the pillars of the NHS, you might name hospitals, you might name GP surgeries, social care homes perhaps, but pharmacies are the sometimes forgotten fourth pillar and they perform a vital role, but increasingly they're being asked to bear a heavier and heavier load. And that means vital lifelines for local communities are being cut. The people that can't get about, that's, that's what's going to hurt. Yeah. You know, the really elderly that need that, you know. Keep these pharmacies open. We beg the country, you know, the government, keep them all open, please. The Department for Health and Social Care told us that they're carefully monitoring access to pharmaceutical services, but that good access remains. In the most deprived areas, the worry is for how long. Tom Cheshire, Sky News in Bristol.